the stop for the Canes. No doubt, this is the strength of their team. Zach McLeod plays with big instincts every time. Four wide receivers for Woodside. His first throw hits Denzel McKinley Lewis. Common way, meaning he's going to do something spectacular, but make it look so common. Second down and five for Woodside and the Rockets. Looking deep down the field, Thompson incomplete. Come back, and when you take a look at the replay, Logan Woodside, he's making sure, okay, I'm going to find the one-on-one. -on -one. Cody Thompson could after it further, Mac, if you can't continue to keep down the penalties. So the distance doubles. Now 10 yards to gain. Got to get across midfield. And Swanson does. First down, Toledo. Kendall talked about their head coach. We need to find the matchups. We need to understand where's the one on ones. And then we will go. Second down for Woodside, the senior from Kentucky. He broke all sorts of records last year. And he puts the throw on the money. Half of his freshman season with a bad shoulder. He's certainly fresh as the Hurricanes have not hit hard for a few weeks. And down goes Woodside. Kendrick Norton, R.J. McIntosh. And he just simply beat the center with the swim over move. Standing over the first three weeks of the season. NFL's leading rusher thus far. The rookie out of Toledo. The tight end who doesn't catch very many balls. Jordan Fisher was in motion. Woodside scrambles. He gains four more. So and two is more of a man-up situation, and that pressure is on. Now it's the third and seven. You can afford to come with the blitz. You can afford to play a little zone behind it because they can only do so many things out of certain formations, as you see right here. Don't have as much time to let the play develop if they come with the pressure. Woodside fires. Leaping into the air and the ball dislodged. Malik Young there defensively. A flag is down Before the ball closer was to the line of scrimmage. Delay of game. And it was Offense. delay of game, so no Five yard penalty. Remains I third down. What, the, people, the people here in South Florida, they are excited about being in penetration on the defensive side. Tompkins to the outside, leaves Woodside by himself in the backfield. 101 cover. Stepping up and going down. You look at R.J. McIntosh, the guys up in the middle, Anthony Moten. The pressure coming off on both of them to slow them down. They didn't on that time. Another third and long. Woodside steps up, fires, completes it. That's John Vay Johnson. For zone concept, he just found the soft spot in the zone. Great job by the quarterback, giving him the chance. Quick snap to Cody Thompson, and what did Jason Candle tell us? He's been here, you guys, with the fast pace that Toledo is going right now. First and five after the five-yard penalty. Woodside shows his shiftiness intended for Tompkins, but off his finger. Number one, keep contained. Woodside, throw a little bit behind. Oh, anytime you get two hands on it, you have to be able to catch it. Big third down right now. Five targets on the perimeter for Woodside. And now joining the backfield by Tompkins. He's going to throw it. Nice toss. Into Miami territory, it's Denzel McKinley Lewis. Logan Woodside is good enough to be able to not only see it, but change guys into the proper running routes and make the completion. McKinley Lewis had a couple grabs for 83 yards and a score last week. Now it's Thompson, open, catches at the 10, dancing to the pylon and just shy of the... As good of a passing team as Toledo is, they've run the ball about 58% of the time so far this season. 
Woodside has only averaged about 30 attempts a game. But he'll launch here. And it's come third and management, third and one. Toledo four for seven on third down so far. Logan Woodside, the fifth year senior, calm and cool. Reggie Gilliam makes his first catch of the season with a first down. You see Shaq Waterman coming on the blitz, but Logan is patient. He understands the protection, can pick it up. He sees the receiver. Did not allow the first guy to be able to hit him. Nice vision as well. Second down for Woodside, who's 7 of 11 thus far for 109 yards. Deep down the right sideline. And again, through that. Run right in the middle for the first down, and that's exactly what he did. One thing you notice with both the running backs and Woodside, they do a great job of taking care of the football. Deep down the sideline, and again, through the. So Miami did a complete overhaul change with their personnel because guys are becoming tired, and that's what happens with the layoff. Toledo has not had a problem getting to this part of the field so far this year, but they've had trouble finishing drives. Play clock winding down with one. He did not get it off, and the referees will blow it dead. Before the ball was snapped, delay a game, offense, five-yard penalty, remains first down. And well, best believe that once he finds out who has who, that's where he's going to decide who he's going to pick up. First and 15. Woodside cannot get away, but there may have been a face mask. Be inside the 10-yard line. So instead, they're at the 20. Cody Thompson, top of your screen. And the quick pass. Yes. Trying to tell this receiver, I don't know whether or not it's the running back. Oh, the running back. He tripped up the quarterbacks. So Toledo Rockets making far too many mistakes in the penalty department, TK. When you're on the road playing against a big team like this, you need every ounce of everything you have to be able to make plays, and they can't do this to themselves. Handicap in their effort, and Woodside ripped down. Trent Harris got to committed to Miami. His mom said, we're going to have to paint his room because it was Gators colors. <laughs> Third and a mile, and Woodside can't even get vest into it. The amount of time Miami's had the football. Logan Woodside straight down the field again. Trajan Bandy. All best off. Both ways. Referees have been letting the players play downfield. There's been plenty of contact that has been uncalled. Right near the first down marker, the catch was made. Great just throw and catch. You can't beat it. And they snap it very quickly. Don't allow a possible challenge or review. Woodside, another quick throw, and his receiver went stumbling. John. That was the longest run of the day for Terry Swanson. He's now got 69 yards on a dozen carries. First and 10 from the Miami 37. Woodside, downfield, open man, John Vay Johnson. It has changed. And when you look at the All-22 camera, these guys are, are, are playing a, a man on one side and the zone on the other. D. Delaney, he didn't even get in. Clogging up that middle makes it easier for the inside linebacker to not only read, but just to sit back in a rocking chair and just attack. Clock continues to tick. Woodside, his first look wasn't there. And the dish to Johnson was dry. So do I want to sit back and play true zone? Let's see what the middle linebacker Shaq Quarterman does, number 55. The quick throw will get to lead the first down and a lot more. Cody Thompson out to mid. And right up to the line of scrimmage. 
Under a minute to go, Woodside. Another vertical route to Thompson to the 32-yard line. As they ran it exactly where he came from, that's the reason why they were able to get seven yards. Woodside on second and three. Overthrows Thompson this time. Horn Elder, no Rayshon Jenkins, no Jamal Carter. On third and three, complete first down, Rockets. Inside the... Rockets do have a timeout, so they can throw it anywhere here. They can use the whole field. Woodside down the seam, incomplete. Off the hands of the leaping Denzel McKinley Lewis. He jumped a split second too early. Yeah, he was wide open. The more you look across the board, Miami's defense, they're not playing on the same page right now. That's the reason why we'll just have to wait and see and see what happens. Yeah. Keep an eye and watch if he reemerges. So Toledo with a six-point lead here at Hard Rock Stadium and the football early in the third quarter. Woodside had 213 yards in the first half. This Toledo offense moved the ball so well in the second half against Tulsa last Saturday. They scored quickly against the Golden Hurricane. They've been more methodical about it today, and this time Woodside goes nowhere. Chad prime pressure. Can the Hurricanes get off the field on third down? Woodside hit as he threw it, but it's caught by Johnson. Perfect. Nice route. He stuck him hard inside to be able to get separation for Logan to be able to make that completion. Clutch. Third down conversion again. Short throw this time. Back to Deontay Johnson. The red is exactly what they're doing with D. Delaney. Another seven-yard gain on first down. Sets up second and three. Woodside had an open receiver and Denzel McKinley Lewis. A bunch of options with Tompkins by his side in the backfield. Here's Cody Thompson in motion. Play clock down to four. They get it off. Woodside to Thompson. He's hit immediately by hey, Thompson. Thompson isn't even running a route. If nobody's covering him, he's running five yards and just stopping. Seven-yard gain, now second and three. Fans here at Hard Rock Stadium making some noise. Logan Woodside completes it, but hit immediately. Tompkins was the... Toledo's been so successful on third down today, but this place as raucous as it has been all afternoon. Woodside completes it. John Bay Johnson again. New set of downs for the Rockets. Out of the map. Preseason favorites in the Mid-American Conference this year. Nearly a lateral. To the Glass Bowl September of next year. Another flag flies as Deontay Johnson scampers to the outside. In the mile before they get to a first down, we'll see what he does. Second and 28 to be exact. Take the handoff. Woodside rifles downfield. It's incomplete. After no football for the last couple weekends, these fans have come to support the Cans today. On third and very, very long. Woodside's going to run for it. Quarterman chasing him. Shoves him out of bounds near the 30. Work to do late third quarter today. Looks like they're going to throw it on this play, Tatia. Yeah, I would think so without anybody being in the backfield. You don't want to run a QB draw right at Shaq Quarterman, although now Swanson joins Woodside. To the outside, John Bay Johnson dropped it. First, fair enough. 
Second and ten. Woodside. Victimized by a drop again. Inside linebacker Shaq Quarterman brought him on the blitz. They had one on one. He had him, but Logan kind of threw the ball. He gained confidence. Made a couple adjustments. On third down, Woodside under pressure. Steps up, lost the football. Miami's got it. Nine yards of offense last week, only 356 today. Got a quarter still to go. That ball's tipped and nearly picked off. Bridge. But nice pressure up front, getting in the windows. What have you noticed about the Miami defense and how they have shifted here in the second half? Well, they're playing with the belief now. And they're not giving up anything early on the first and second down to where, where it brings half an untimed down after a Miami penalty when they initially missed the field goal. And they generate something here. Woodside got Thompson in the pocket in the zone and he gets clobbered from Boston. Very easy pitch and catch for Thank these guys. Pardon. Perry with a stop. Tompkins out of the backfield. Scurries his way for a... On second down. Tompkins another catch more scheme related or more execution related. Uh, it's both, but it first starts off with the, just trying to let the guys know this is what they're trying to do schematically. Third down. Woodside, hit as he throws, and nobody going deep, but a flag comes in late in the game for Toledo in Atariwa's spot. Rockets need some points and need them quickly. Down by three touchdowns. Under 10 to play. That's a nicely thrown ball. Deontay Johnson. 19-yard gain. First and goal. Woodside. End zone. Touchdown, Toledo. A flag comes in late. Last six years, they'll post Miami next September 15th. On the second look, he doesn't lead this week against Tulsa. Woodside in the shotgun, shovels it, Tompkins, did he get there? Yes, line judge said he was in, it was very close. Logan Woodside, he has the potential to be able to do anything he wants if you give him time. Woodside with company in the backfield, the options, Johnson in motion. Looking to throw. Woodside. Complete towing. Wow. I just said if you give him time, he has the potential to do great things. Look at the location. Look at the toe drag swag. Because they have time. If they can convert this two-point conversion, it instantly changes the momentum of the game in their favor. Woodside. Quick throw. Caught. And it's a game of the season. He averaged nine yards a carry. Right now, he's averaging 20 yards per carry. That's insane. It's crazy. Woodside, can he bring the Rockets down the field again? He's easy. Woodside is on his way to breaking Bruce Gradkowski's record for most passing yards in Toledo history. That throw breaking up on the near side. Down. Manny Diaz is, he's adding pressure by bringing an extra linebacker, but that's okay. Red wine with a nice coverage for the storm. Finally, we're able to shift that attention back to football. And I think all the coaches were curious. They knew their guys were excited to play, but would they be focused for 60 minutes? Woodside gets it away to Tompkins. And what pursuit by Quarterman. He's for 77 yards in the game for the Rockets. They've averaged 10 penalties a game through four weeks. Incomplete.
complete, looking for third and 20. Curious to see what type of formation on the coverage he's going to play in the back end. Deontay Johnson was trying to get his quarterback's attention. The snap is too high. Woodside just dives on it back at the five.